Rotten Culture, Fall 2014, Gold Member, let's get to it, badass front cover, and uh, really excited about this one, just from seeing the front cover. Now, um, man, I, I just wish, um, I just wish all the Rotten Culture front covers had um, women on it. And here's the first pinup, beautiful dude, I love the creativity of it, the darkness of it. Wish it was more light, actually. <laughs> then, um, the coupons. And an article. And here we have the first um, car feature, Gold Member, from Rich Metters. And the photos by Holly West and Brandon Plannery. And gorgeous, dude. They just have the huge-ass car right there planted in front of the pond. And, you know... Sunday afternoon vibes. I love it. The freaking car looks like it has a lot of um, color to it. It looks like they have two different colors, like more of a orange gold on the bottom and more of a yellow green on top. And when the sun hits it, you know, you just get so many different um, colors. The interior, old school, man. I have no idea what's this right here. Is it AC? I don't know, but... You know, the palanca right there and the, the shifting gear thing um, has a little diamond on it. And um, yeah, dude, I can't really tell what year this is from, but I think it's from the 40s. And yeah, ooh, this one right here. That's a fat ass, man. That's fat right there. Gorgeous, man. I love how the win how the windows are pretty small, making the car appear even even bigger. Jesus. Here we have pretty mean coupe. And again, hoodless without the freaking hood. The whole front part is just blown off. The grill is still intact. The the front wheels are really are smaller than the back ones and um, where they at it looks like a at a theater or something and really cool. Closer look into the engine, pinstriping the interior, and um, just a really cool shot. I just wish the the car wasn't cut in half with the the pages, but. It is what it is. Charlie Decker, artist feature with the pinstriping. Man, crazy designs with the pinstriping. It's always a trip to see people do it. And um, much respect to the pinstriping artists, man. It's crazy how they get the exact same thing on one side, on the other. No mistakes. No room for mistakes. Lone Star Roundup around a culture in Austin, Texas. Nice, you know. Again, I just wish the pictures had like people in them, but I guess this is what differentiates this magazine from others. They just really focus in on the car. And a little bit more. Looks like uh, they do like um, they put on like dirt like dirt bike shows or their cars in the dirt as well I've seen in other issues um, axles part one how to fix your car and everything some automobile education for y'all syndicate scuderia damn raised up to the to the freaking max dude I kind of like it how these cars are you know ready for action you know these fools aren't trying to go low and slow. These fools are trying to go like fast as a mother effort right here. And then this right here. Um, it's always a trip to see the cars lifted up like that without hydraulics. Um, what I heard from one of the viewers is that that's just raw power right there. No hydraulics. Assuming they're going really fast and then um, I have no idea how they get it up in the air like that. Mirroring the marrow down under shoebox, not quite done. Again, huge ass car, man, in the middle of the valley. Beautiful shot. 
the greenness of the car and the green mountain range in the background. And super lovely, man. And then I love how the horizon kind of cuts into the car right here in the reflection. And you can see the sun right there as well. Super dope. Yeah, and this car in overall has a really like um, dark green color scheme to it. Must be a trip to see these kind of cars uh, nowadays. And hell yeah, dude. The centerfold pinup model. All Hawaiian out. And on the bottom it says something Tiki had away. And just really cool. I just wish I could show you the whole. Oh, yeah, she does fit in the whole frame. Like that, I guess. I guess that's the best way to show you guys. I love it, dude. I love the whole tiki theme. You know, kind of Flintstones-esque. But all good, man. Freaking, this one has, has got to be one of the best the centerfolds. Disorderly Conduct. Badass name. I love how the freaking engine kind of sticks out of the freaking car. Ready for action, dude. Raised up. Looks all dinked up, you know, but I guess that's what this guy's going for, you know, this fooling trying to walk on eggshells when he's driving. This fool drives everywhere, everywhere with his car. West Coast Customs, Cruising na Nationals. Otra vez, dude. I love the trucks. These whole um, old ass bombas, the Mercs. These fools that look like they're coming out of the 30s. And then I told you the, the dirt racing or the mud racing. Here we have um, 11th annual Jalopy Showdown. Pretty cool. I love how <laughs> finally some action shots, dude. That's pretty sick. I love how they... Um, what, what are these little ones called? Go-karts or are these the roadsters or the whole thing in general is called roadsters. But I don't know. The trip. Champs tires. <laughs> That's pretty sick, man. I love it. it. Looks really fun. Authentic zombie hot rod wear. Phil Guadagni's custom triumph. Ooh, beautiful purple um, motorcycle, man. Amazing. Hell yeah, some more shots right here. The fool himself on, on his bike. The bucket list. The story of Stan Johnson, the Mellow Tones Hot Rod Club and Great Lakes Dragway. Blast into the past. Rado Rama. Here we have um Yeah, just old school articles. Bruce Lil Lil G's 34 Survivor Coop. Damn, I love I love it when the front is just stripped away, man. Leaving the bare engine visible. Pretty sick, man. I want to see this car like in real life. Up close, in action. Wonder how it sounds. I can already kind of imagine it. And then these fools at the drag strip. Racing. Friction in the static. Jack Merkel, 33 Willies. It's a pretty funny name. And then there's the fool across history. Jack. Jack Merkel. I you know how in the road in the lowrider culture there's um there's um what's that the Gypsy Rose. I wonder if in the hot rod culture there's like a really famous hot rod car. Scott Green's Roadster. Damn, dude, this food looks like um. I love it. También how their vehicles kind of match their environments, the color, the kind of um desert looking you know style pretty cool 
Otra vez. It would have been sick if there was a person right here. But, yeah. And we're ending it with the last pinned up. Super, super bomb. And Sicky's Garage from sickboy.com. I gotta check out that website, man. We can end it with one of the old school pictures right here. That's a pretty nice way to end the freaking magazine. I gotta give it to Rotten Culture for that, for keeping it all Rotten Culture all throughout their magazine. You know, something I noticed is that they don't have cigarette ads or alcohol advertisements like Lowrider does. And um, yeah, that's what I've noticed. But check out the next magazine, Peace.